relationship with a couple of names, John Gruden and the same agent, Bobby Lamont. Did you get in touch with John? Did he call you and say, I, I don't have an interest in how much did Bob play into you know hiring Pat because all three of you up there are represented by him? Yeah, it's, it's, and I think it's been documented uh, in the last week, uh, talked about certainly, the, uh, a couple things. One, uh, I did talk to John. Uh, I, I did talk to Bill Cower. Uh, I did talk to a number of people that um, didn't appear in, in stories anywhere, but uh, as part of the vetting process to get to who we actually were going to interview with, it was important for me to hear from those fellows how interested they were in coaching again, first of all. Uh, as far as our relationship with Bob, he, he, he has rep we, Bob and I have been friends for over 30 years. He's, we were high school teachers together. He, everyone knows the story and all that kind of stuff. D moving forward, uh, I can honestly say this. I, he, he represents a lot of people in this business. And to think that you're going to do any sort of hiring either a head coach or a front office uh, without somehow his name popping up somewhere is, uh, is unusual, it, it seems to be. I can honestly say when I uh, first put Pat on the list, I did not know. I didn't know Bob represented Pat. So, and then, so then I was talking to Bob about something else. He goes, I got Pat too. You know, and I said, well, that's great. You know, uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is his responsibility as an agent, I think, to uh, any of his clients. He, he is honest. He works very, very hard for them. When he's dealing with an organization for anybody, he is representing that person with that organization. He's not representing Pat Shermer to Mike Holmgren or to Tom Eckert. He's representing Pat to the Cleveland Browns, and he does his job very well. At the same time, when I'm talking to Pat, I'm not really thinking about Bob. Or if I'm talking to Tom, I'm not thinking about who represents him, really. I, want to get, I wanted to get the best man, who I felt was the best man for the job. And as it turns out, it turned out, uh, you know, the, his representation is, was pretty familiar. So uh, we feel very fortunate that we got it done. Uh, Bob was not part of that process. He was certainly part of the contractual process, you know, but that's what he does. Mike, how did you get to the final three? You mentioned the two other gentlemen. How, how did you get to that point in time? Well, th there, was a, there was a committee that included Tom and myself, Brian Wiedemeyer, Gil Haskell, Matt Thomas, our football administration. And as I said, we started putting together lists of all the things I told you we're going to do, college coaches, coordinators, head coaches, coaches that were their contracts were up, all that kind of stuff. And, and then we met daily and just would – some guys knew this guy. Some guys knew people that knew this guy. So we started gathering information and whittled it all down to, I would say, a finalist group of ten. And then, like you always, like you would, you know. Then we took those ten, did a little more digging, and came to what I thought were three. You know, here, here I didn't want to waste anybody else's time with. You know, I, I wasn't going to interview ten guys, formally interview ten guys. I didn't think that was necessary. It, it would waste their time and 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 our valuable time. So let's. My charge to my committee was let's find the three top candidates in our opinion. And those are the guys we're going to talk to. And that's how it happened. Excuse me, how do you convince NFL players who haven't won at this level that they can win? I think what we do is, number one, there's a, there's a huge piece to this called trust. And, you know, we went to St. Louis and, and won one game the first year. This year uh, we won seven. And we're fighting to, uh, to win the division. Uh, when really at the beginning of the year nobody thought it could happen, but I think what happens is is that's built on a day-to-day -day basis. You develop, and I think it goes back to the relationships. It goes back to uh, people working hard together, uh, and then you put your systems in place. Uh, you put the people in place, 
and then you just trust that it's going to happen. And I think, uh, you know, there's people in this organization that have a pedigree in this profession uh, that points to winning. And so I think that's the, that's the key piece. And I think hiring assistant coaches, we all know the list. Do you think that is applicable to hiring a head coach? And is there any specific ingredient you look for differently having hired that guy as opposed to a uh, coordinator or position coach? Oh, I, I, I believe it's different. Yeah, I, I think hiring your staff and hiring assistant coaches, um, you're looking at certain things, certain specifics. Um, if I'm going to hire a linebacker coach, obviously the criteria, there's a certain specific nature to the job. When you're hiring a head coach, um, there's a lot of stuff. You, you know, as you might imagine, there's the football part of it. He wouldn't be a candidate if he wasn't a good football coach in some area, offensive coordinator, whatever it is. To me, and then the person, the character of the person, that was hugely important to me. And then a feeling, an instinct, if you will, about how he will deal with the whole group, how he will present himself to the team standing up there, how he will get people to do sometimes some things they don't want to do, and just his presence. And that that's kind of intuitive, I think, and, it, and, it, and it's, a little, it's a little bit of a gut reaction, a little less scientific, if you will. Interview? That's, that's what the interview is about, to my way of thinking. One of the big things of the interview. You know, I, I know Pat's a good football coach. You know, I, I know he can line people up and get them to do stuff. Okay, it was important to me. It's so much more. Um, there's a lot of things he has to do. The head coach has to do. And, and so that, that, to me, that was a big part of the interview process. And, and then the other thing is, is you talk to people. You talk to people that have been with them. Now, I had an advantage because Tom and Pat had worked together for, for so many years. So we had a real good resource there. Uh, and, and, but you have to do that. And, and uh, you know, this is the first head coach I've ever hired. I trust it will be the last. I don't want to do it again. Some more guys. It's a teacher uh, when you were coaching. And, Pat, you've used the word teacher numerous times here today. Um, does that play a role in, in teaching young players ultimately your system that you want to put in place? I, I think it's the, it's the foundation of what we do. I think, uh, you know, we take highly motivated, talented people of – and then we teach them to do very basic tasks, and then we tie it all together, and then we go out and let you folks evaluate it and try to have those tax, tasks uh, point to uh, efficient football and winning. And so it is the foundation of what we do is teach. And I think if we don't start talking uh, there, then I think we miss the key piece. Yeah, what, what was the, the, the philosophical similarities that you all have together in, in the Pat on the field, um, how much did that play into this, this hiring? I mean, was that, was that, how much of a key factor was that? Well, you know, I don't think you can understate that. It's, um, you know, like Pat said, from the day he walked in the door, we're on the same page. And that's from a, what we want players, you know, and, and everybody says that you want the character, hardworking stuff, but we've been through it together and we've done it with getting those players. You know, we've, we won a lot of football games. Unfortunately, we didn't win a Super Bowl in Philadelphia, but we did win an awful lot of football games. And so I think we are on the same page when it comes to players and what we're looking for. And um, and we've done it together before. So I, I think that's, you know, like Pat said, from, from day one, we are on the same page with how what kind of players we're looking for and how we're going to acquire those players. And, um, you know, that, that, that can't be a, a negative. Uh, Les Levine with the Time Warner Cable. Uh, has Rob Ryan or any of the other uh, uh, current coaches uh, been ruled out at this point? Yeah, I'm not trying to be uh, evade the question, but you know, uh, you know, that's a process that we're going through. So, uh, I think it'll become very obvious very quickly where we're going in terms of the staff. As I mentioned, you you have resources for finding out any, that information, but um, to protect the process to some degree, you know, we're just going to leave it at that.